Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video So um, in the previous video uh, we have designed this uh, application uh, using uh, Java and Kotlin together in uh, one project So let's uh, run our application to uh, to see uh, how that uh, worked So as you can see now uh, we have two buttons and uh, we're calling uh, Kotlin uh, method from the Kotlin class and Java method from a Java class and it works fine so in this video uh, I want to show you how you can um, uh, convert uh, automatically Java class to Kotlin so remember this uh, this Java class as you can see there are a bunch of lines of codes here and I'm going to show you how you can uh, automatically convert uh, Java class to Kotlin and basically decrease the line of codes uh, and shrink this uh, this class a little bit so don't worry if you don't understand um, Kotlin syntax uh, I'm going to uh, teach you that in my future videos. I'm going to make videos about uh, variables, functions, and many more. So as you can see here, I have removed uh, this unnecessary code, and uh, I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that in the previous video, but that's okay. All right, so uh, let's get started. So now, uh, from the code menu, from the menu up uh, where it says code, we're going to select that and click uh, convert java file to kotlin file it will prompt you that um, this is not a foolproof uh, concept and it may, may require some uh, corrections but uh, that's totally okay don't worry so as you can see our code has changed to kotlin and uh, our lines of codes has been decreased uh, a lot so now i'm going to remove uh, more of those codes here uh, we don't need find view by id and that's an amazing thing i'm going to show you how so basically uh, we don't need the find to use find view by id anymore we just uh, we can import those ids immediately in our class so as you can see we have imported uh, basically our uh, uh, main activity layout file and uh, from this main activity class we can just call uh, our um, elements directly so those two uh, kotlin plugins are uh, are automatically added inside uh, our uh, Gradle build file okay so uh, now let's shrink that and as you can see our code uh, has been decreased by uh, many lines which is perfect and uh, it is more concise and uh, easy to read uh, our code uh, and let's check out if our application still works and as you can see it works like a charm so uh, that's a great thing about Kotlin, uh, it removes uh, a long uh, boilerplate uh, codes here and uh, basically you don't need to use any more uh, find view by ID or uh, semicolons which uh, is great and uh, I'm sure you're going, to, you're going to love Kotlin just follow my uh, videos and uh, in the next videos I'm going to start by creating uh, tutorials about uh, basic stuff like variables, functions, uh, classes and many more unique stuff uh, for Kotlin so uh, for this video that will be all uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one